What's up everyone, MikeBen96 here on behalf of Wohotech.com and today we're going to take a look at a procrastinator's to-do app but it really does let you get stuff done and it's really good for the average goal setter who likes to set a lot of goals for their day. So the app is Put Things Off. So there is the icon. It is abbreviated PTO. So we'll just tap on it to open it. Alright, so here's the main screen. So we're going to take a look at the interface first. So at the very top, top left, we have the settings menu. And then in the middle, we have the bin we're in, where I'm going to talk about bins in a second. And then over here on the top right, we have the add button. And this button will add a new task to your to-do list. Alright, so here in the middle, we have a little table-ish looking thing. And this is where all your tasks will appear, all the tasks that you want to get done today. And we're going to talk about um, some of these other bins down here right now. So these are your bins. So currently we're in the Today bin. We know that because at the top it says Today. But there is an Inbox, Today, Put Off, and Done. And we're going to talk about what each of these bins are for. But first of all, we're going to take a look at the Settings menu so you can see what kind of hidden features are in this. Alright, so first we see Configure Web Tasks, and actually I'm going to talk about web tasks in a second. It's a very nice feature that's in this app, but I'm going to demonstrate in just a second. Next thing is Put Things Off 4. Now, hence the name Put Things Off. This app is called Put Things Off, and what, it, what the goal of this app is for, you can set goals for your day, but if you don't get those certain goals done, you can easily uh, put them on another day to complete. So, uh, when an, when a task is in your today bin, and you said you want to get it done today, but the end of the day is already here and you didn't get it done, what do you do? You put it off. Or maybe you just realize you don't want to do it today, and you decide you want to put it off. So you could decide the length of time that you put a certain task off for. So this time can be changed later, uh, not in the settings menu, but actually when you're putting it off. But this is just the default that it will be set for. So you go from 1 all the way to 31. So we're just going to leave it at 1 for now. And we'll talk about putting things off more later. The next thing we see is sounds. So you can turn the app sounds on and off. Left-handed mode, which is actually a very nice feature because I am left-handed. Except I don't use left-handed mode just because I'm used to everything being on this side but basically what it does is it moves this button over here to the left nice feature and then badge count what badge count will do is it will show you on your home screen with a badge on the put things off icon it will show you how many tasks you have to get done today so another little motivational tool there so we're gonna close out of the settings menu for now. And we're going to look at making a task. So to make a task on your device, just go to this little plus button up here, and a little note card appears. So on the note card you're going to type in what exactly you want to do. So type in do taxes. It's about that time. All right. So I've typed in do taxes, and then there's also a little calendar thing down here where you can set what day you actually want to do this on. Say I didn't want to do it today, I can set it I want to do it tomorrow. So we're actually going to take a look at that. We're gonna, I'm going to set it for tomorrow. Today is February 5th, and so I'm going to set it for February 6th tomorrow. I'm going to hit on hit save. Alright, see, so as you can see, it disappears from my today bin. I'm currently in my today bin. It disappears and goes into my put off bin. So we're going to take a look at that. So this is the put off bin. This is all the tasks that you have put off. So it is separated by day. So as you see, tomorrow I'm planning on doing my taxes. And then there's a bunch of other days, and then later. Now if you put something off, but you do want to do it today, you just tap this little star here. And it'll move on over to your inbox. And so there it is. It is in my today bin. And then I'm going to demonstrate this 
this badge icon. So I have one uh, task in my today bin, and so there is a little one badge on the app. Alright, so I have did my taxes. What do I do now? I tap the little green uh, check mark here. So we just tap on it and it flies on over to the done bin. So we'll go over to the done bin. Alright, so here on the done bin, you just, it isn't a super important bin, but you just see all the tasks that you've gotten done uh, ever since you've had the app. Uh, and you can re sign an app. I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little star there. The star symbolizes the today bin. So if you tap on the star, it'll go back to the today bin. There's, there's a trash can. So if you tap the trash can, it just disappears. So you could completely delete it if you wanted to. Alright, so say you wanted to put your tasks in on the computer. That is where web tasks come in. We're going to take a look at that. Web tasks is actually not free. Uh, it does not come with the app. You do have to buy it as an in-app subscription. So first you make an account and when you make an account for the first time you get 30 days to try web tasks for free. After 30 days is up you will not be able to use it anymore and you'll have to buy a subscription. 30 days of it is 99 cents and 180 days of web tasks is $4.99. So we're going to hop on over to the computer and I'm going to show you how web tasks work. Alright, so I'm here on the computer. So after you set up an account, you're going to go to this little website. It is ptoff.com. Stands for put things off. After you go there, you're going to be greeted with this cool little start screen. Actually, this one. This is the one you're going to be greeted with. So you're going to enter in your email address and your password. So I'm going to do that right now. I'm just going to hide my password. Alright, so it does a little cool flip thing, which is always fun to see. Alright, so after you sign in, you're going to type in a task and then hit return. So we're going to see how that works. It's actually very simple to do. All you do is type in a task and then hit the answer key. And bam, that is it. It's sent to my device. So I'm just going to type in a few more real quickly. Okay, so those are all the tasks that I want to do right now. So we are done with the computer, and we're going to head back over to the device. Okay, so we are back on the device. So we're going to exit the settings menu. Alright, so when you insert a task from your computer, it's going to go to your inbox bin. So we're going to tap on inbox. And when you go to your inbox, it will automatically sync, and you just saw that those note cards popped out of nowhere. So those are the note cards that we added in from the computer. So you have two options here. You can first add it to your inbox, or your, I'm sorry, you can add it to your today bin to say that you want to do it today, or, oops, or you can uh, put it off. So say I didn't want to file papers today, and I want to put it off and do it tomorrow. So if you remember back in settings, we set a certain amount of days that we put things off for. That amount of days will apply when you just single tap on the put things off button. So just, dang it, I'll just single tap on the put things off button and it flies over to put off bin. So you can see that is set to go into my inbox tomorrow. So I don't know if this, I said this already, but uh, these thing, these note cards will automatically go into your today bin uh, on the day that they are assigned. So tomorrow when I open this app, this will move from the put off bin to my today bin. 
Now, what if I wanted to put something off for longer or shorter than my set put off time? Then you basically just hold, press and hold, and then you get a little option. So you can put it off for 1, 3, 7, or 30 days. So I want to put it off for 3 days. It flies over to the put off bin. So it is scheduled to go into my today bin on Tuesday. I'll go back to my inbox. And I want to send an email to grandma today. So I'll hit the star. It'll fly to my inbox or my today bin. And so then I will be reminded to do it today. And of course, uh, from the today bin, I can still put it off if I wanted to. So one thing we haven't gone over yet is the done box. So just tap the arrow, and it goes to the done box, just like normal. So as, as you can see, uh, using web tasks is very simple, and it basically works just the same as uh, all the other tasks, other than you type them in on your computer, and they go to your uh, inbox. So after they go to your inbox, you can choose to either put them in your today bin or you could put them off. So that is uh, Put Things Off. Put Things Off is available in the Apple App Store for $2.99. It's compatible with uh, any device, any iDevice, the iPhone, iPod, and iPad. And so I, for one, uh, I think it's an excellent app. I really like it and I I think I would find a lot of use out of it because I am a procrastinator and so being a procrastinator I actually do want to fix my procrastinatism if that is a word but anyways I do want to fix that bad habit of procrastinating stuff and so I do try to set a lot of goals for myself but sometimes you can't complete all those goals and so put things off allows you to not get frustrated when you don't complete your goals because you just with a tap of a button have it reassigned for tomorrow so it's a, a very nice app the only recommendation I would have to the developer is to add reoccurring tasks the closest thing to that is if you already marked a task as complete I'm already in the done bin say I wanted to send an email to grandma every week so I would just leave this in the done bin and then next week I would uh, hit the star here. It would fly on over to my today bin. And so that is the closest thing to it, but that isn't really practical because you know the point of this is to remind you to do it. Uh, so I may not remember to go over my done bin and add it to today. So that would be something that I would recommend to the developer to add is recurring tasks. So I could tell the app that I want this to appear in my today bin every. Wednesday or something like that. So overall a very good app. I do recommend it if you do like setting goals for yourself. I highly recommend it. So go out and get it. Two ninety nine from the App Store. This was Mike Ben ninety six on behalf of Wohotech.com and have a good day.